We have had a fantastic trip. Time to get back to reality and park that trailer up for a while. There are a few checks to do before you put it away. Start from the bottom. Have a look underneath for any cracks, damage, check your tyres. Look for any dust ingress. You may need to grease some points up. Then go to your gas bottles. The cradle. Look for any damage, rust, anything that needs to be rectified before you hit the road again. Start looking around the van, your awning. Probably a good idea to put it out. Look for any cracks or breaks, any tears. Make sure it gets packed away dry. Checking the roof. Get up there, have a really good look. The air conditioner, the TV antenna, any skylights. Check for any leaks or damage. You want to make sure that there's nothing that's going to stop you hooking up that van and taking off for another tour. Now that we've addressed all those maintenance issues, it's time to put the trailer into storage. Think about keeping it nice and clean, aired out, clean out your fridge, wipe it all out, leave the door open. Make sure you don't leave any perishables in the cupboards, wipe down all the dust, don't leave anything damp in the trailer. Maybe put a set of fresh sheets on the bed so it's all fresh, ready to go next time you want to hook up. With your water tanks, give them a good flush out with nice clean water. You may have picked up some water along the way that's not so tasty. We leave them full, that way there's no air gap, less likelihood of mould and mildew building up inside the tank. We need to consider the onboard batteries. It could be one that's normally charged from a solar panel and now in storage it's either covered with a cover or indoors. There's also the battery for your breakaway system. We don't want that flat when we're heading out for a trip. So think about a slow trickle charger on these batteries while it's in storage. Also make sure you don't have the fridge on or anything drawing power from the batteries while it's in storage. There are a few options to consider when you're storing your trailer. Is it going to be in your backyard? Is it at a friend's place? Do we consider a commercial storage yard? Weigh up the cost, the security, the accessibility. Make your own personal choice and make sure it suits you. Service yards are really busy, so it may take some time to get a booking, so plan ahead. When you book it in, make sure you tell them where you've been and where you plan to go next. There may be some extra checks they need to consider during this service. When you pick it up, do a lap around the block to double check everything. So when that trailer goes into storage, it's sitting there ready and waiting for your next adventure.